Yes, that's a brilliant video. Um, it sure is. A, the days back then, these were really human back then, you know. Now, it's not human anymore. Because um, what's happened now is the corporate world has now overrun everything. The people who run the corporations are not the Steve Jobses or the or any of the nerds. And I, I respect the nerds, always admired the nerds, always been fascinated by the way nerds could just get in there and show you a pro if you had a problem with your computer, you know, someone would call on a nerd if the nerd happened to be there and the nerd would just go flick, flick, flick and that's it. A few clicks here and there. Always admire the nerds and their skills, you know. The people that are running the world now are not the nerds. In fact, the nerds are all canned up wherever they can go. Most of them haven't got a job. Most of them have been diagnosed with a condition called Asperger's Syndrome. I mean, who gives a fig about the diagnosis? The only thing about it, you know, that 80, the statistics are 85% of them do not work. They're either, they're unemployed, they're on disability pensions, or they're working in, or if they are working, many of them are working in um, a substandard jobs like stacking shelves in a supermarket. I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, the corporate world has got this terrible attitude problem that says that, you know, like you guys are talking about being fussy and being uncompromising and being focused on your task sort of thing. Well, that's sort of condemned, that's condemned now. That's, said, that's out of the world. The corporations are now think you're more human if you focus on people, as in talking about people, 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 people. You know who they are? IQ 90 to 110, you know? And they're ruining our planet. They don't want to make a good world. They want to make money and then trash the planet. They don't care. Money has become their narcotic. We have not been able to teach them. You know, many of us do not have a workplace or a home. Most of us are not in relationships, like having, having a you know, husband and a wife. Most of us, you know, I don't, you know, don't feel insulted about the term Asperger's syndrome because I, I believe you should take it as an honour, right? But the thing is, we, most of us don't have relationships. We don't have much, many friends, or if you have friends, we have a very narrow band of friends. Some of them are totally isolated and they've logged into space, right? Um, some of them own their own businesses, like small businesses, but they're not happy because they're still lonely and they still feel bad. Money has become the, the ruler of the world. People are on the street poor, begging. No one gives a fig, it's going to get worse, the global financial. Thing is, I'm trying to create a startup myself, or I'm trying to create an awareness first, because I want to take the people and I'm not going to hire any normal people in this game. I don't want to, but it's not just my group. I've got someone who's decided to put me out here. For some reason, he's not putting his face up here, but <laughs> I'm very devoted to the cause. And But he's a busy man, he's got a... He's running his own small business and he's very annoyed with what has happened. He's, he wanted to build a self-guided photocopier starting 20 years ago. So, oh, oh, oh. Uh, sorry, sorry, the yawning is 4.12 in the morning and yes, I've got a very, a very good body clock for tasks and I think I've been up in the morning since about, <coughs> crap. I think I've been about in the morning since about 8 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock. That's a pretty long innings, really. Yeah. Well, anyway, enough of that. So, basically, they've been denied work of any kind that is meaningful. So, the people who stole in our industries, well, we used to have an influence in the 1980s or and the 90s, especially the 90s. The 90s are what I've been focusing on. Early 90s, right? So we had people who were called copier industrialists, toner heads. Um, they were just like the, the copier equivalent. They were going to build something big. They were talking about creativity. They were going to try to humanise the copier. They start with a preamble called photocopier art. Couldn't understand how that worked back then, but, but I do now, and it's a very big... But it's not popular. thing is, I'm trying to use photocopier art as a, as a way of, well, re, reuniting these people and it's so unpopular. Everything good is unpopular. You know, it's okay to be obsessed with money. It's okay to be obsessed with celebrities. It's not okay to be obsessed with your task. Another thing to note also is what's encouraging this group is the other side of the normal group, the church. 
the church were actually implicated in the short circuit. They and their stupid idea that working on a task like being obsessed with machines is bad. You know, wrong. It depends on what you're doing it for, right? You know, and it's, it's disgusting. And now they've, they've allowed the, the stupid fools of money gods to get in there and, and basically rape the world, rape the planet, rape those who want to help. I mean, we don't have a, that environment. Our, our, our so-called labs are just bedrooms in mum and dad's places. That their bedrooms in housing estates, housing departments, group homes. It's all fr fractured and broken. You know, I know we can build a self-guided photocopy. I know we can do it. But there's not enough people who are out there who can build a photocopy have all been spread around the world. But it's the same with all geeks. Playing Xbox, there's nothing wrong with Xbox. It's just that... But there is now because the Xbox is being consumed by this silly money driven, you know, we, they've stolen our industries and you know how angry that makes me feel. You can almost see the, the red eye, my eyes turn red like, like they've got laser beams about to shoot out in anger, you know, like, <laughs> if I look at someone who's a normal person, you could almost imagine if it was a sci-fi movie, I'd go, because <laughs> I'm so angry, you know, but the thing is we can't do that. You know, or, or maybe you can imagine they're, they're not blood red lasers and helium neon lasers. You can imagine they're, I'm just trying to think, argon lasers. Well, anyway, I'm a geek. Um, but the thing is, we've all been denied access to good things. You know, we've been denied access to work, to meaningful social life, to love life, and, and, and to peace, and inner peace. You know, the church really have, have shorted out everything. I mean, and they still do it. You can't reason with both. The money grubbers, who are the non-Christian, you know, the secularised ones, they just work like a team, you know, they mirror each other. Except one says they are preaching God, I say bollocks, they're preaching hate. But they don't know it, they're, they're off their heads, they're, they're stoned on something that it's not drugs. But whatever it is, they'll always condemn. The people on the other side will just clean aside us and say, oh, you've got to get some help, you've got to be social. I'll tell you one thing, if they're, not, if they're thinking too much about their social lives, they should not be on the job, as you say. They should be working in a job that's more socially available. Like a lot of these copier industrialists have taken on their jobs. Jobs, there's no more aptitude tests and sense that, well, I don't know. But basically, you can walk into a copier job just by loving copiers. How do I know? I worked for Xerox in a workshop. Didn't fit my aptitude profile, but I've got other gifts that I can use, but then there's no gifts that are popular. It was like all nerds and geeks. No one listens to me, but the thing is I will not give up because it's it's, it's, we're dependent on this. You see, the only thing, the things that we've had 20 years of bullshit fed into our minds, 20 years of bullshit. Now, these guys think we can snap out of it. The church says they're preaching love. The church says they help the poor, the destitute, the lonely. Really, I wish I could spit in... I wish it was okay to spit in their face and say, bollocks. You know, but you can't do that. You can't spit in anyone's face. But that's how angry I get. And I basically want to burn the church, as in not literally, but I want to say terrible things about the church and I'm going to basically expose them for this because they're causing disruption to our environment. Now they think that there's going to be a, that there's going to be a judgment coming soon or something. Yes, we all know about you know, again, we're not going to get biblical here because I know the Bible is not popular and I don't want to be a fire and brimstone, I don't want to copy, copy their behaviour. But there's a lot of people with Asperger's syndrome who, who, who are Christians but they've been deceived and been tricked into, into this kind of thing and now they do things wrong but it's not their fault. Um, I'd like to turn the tide and help them. I've been hammering this place out here called Cyberspace for a year and I've made heaps of connections with these people who really appear to me feel like they're really small and insignificant but I know they can build a copy, a self-guided photocopy but I'm trying to coordinate an effort. Look, my, my future husband has literally got me doing this hard work, but he's got hard work to do as well. He's running a business which sells photocopiers. He's been saving up money for this project for a long time since the fail. Photocopiers are that badly designed because they're thinking too much about people, right? It's distracting them. If they really want to be with people, why don't they work in, in, in as a travel agent or something more direct? Because they want money. They want prestige. But who doesn't? 
why do they have to be so cruel to us? They're going to let us die. They're going to let us go and rot. You know? But I won't stop because I'll do anything, even if it means making a goose of myself. Alright? Not reasonable at all. They're stupid. They're, they're talking as if there's something fucked in their head, pardon my language, as if there's something wrong with them, but they think there's something wrong with us. They've made us sick. You know? I will expose them and I'll expose the church and I'll expose the corporations if I must. And I'll, I'll champion the cause of the geeks, but I will not help anyone else because everyone else has been a disruption. They keep hammering us, teasing us, goading us. You know, you know, they're stupid people. You know, they're unreasonable. They think we're unreasonable. We only become haters of them because they've killed our lives. They killed our dreams. They killed everything, even the hope. They make us worry. They made all these people worry about death, and that's it. Death and death is when you're obsessed with death. Everything fails on you. You know, you, you're not just got to worry about the eternal whatevers, right? You've got to basically worry about your, your life. You're single, you're lonely, you don't know what to do, you don't know how to break this curse. You know, it's like a curse. Um, and the thing that's missing from the world and from business is love. Strange, isn't it? Very strange, but true. And just because they think they're humans, they're not human to me. I mean, sometimes I wish I could just do something terrible. Not sorry. Okay, nothing about that. I've just got a very low low tolerance of these people because they've ruined so many people's lives. They've inroaded onto our lives, and it's going to be like playing. A, it's going to be like in a, one of the dystopic movies where everything just gets saved at the last moment, but everything's half dest all destroyed except a few bits, and then it has to be built from scratch. You know. So basically, what I'm trying to do is create a startup, a startup like. Building a self-guided photocopier, creating a second, another Silicon Valley type installation, sending sending us out west into the into Sydney. So I'm trying to collect as many of them as possible online and get them to work, but there doesn't seem to be much clear action here, and I certainly haven't been able to hook into the media as yet. The media must be activated so that they can. You know, the thing is, I make videos, and most of these people are from the legacy days. You know, the old days, which and they're out of work. So many of them are pulling cones, as in smoking marijuana from bombs. It's really sick. And they're Christians, and that really hurts because they can't control themselves, and and yet they want to do what is right. And that's the most disgraceful feeling, or frightening feeling. It's actually very scary. It's like you're thinking of hell all the time. And the church did it, and you you know. And no one listens to nerds and geeks because it's all run by them, him, us and them. But it's good to see that culture, except it still hurts me when I look at it and think what could have been, you know. What we could be, you know, as a group. That's the thing, we've lost our unity, we've lost our ability to, to hook up, we become afraid of bullying. I understand. But it's still oh, we've got to figure something out. But the culture, create a Silicon Valley. So what's going to happen is I've got to basically... Get as many of you guys together, and then I've got to activate the media somehow. I don't know the exact order. Then once the media is activated, I've got videos about photocopy art, and this does help make people get better when they when they look at it and it remembers the good days. And I'm going to try and get that stuff through the TVs of many of people around the world because there's a lot of people who have just decided to unplug their. Sorry about this. The YouTube channels, they've unplugged Google+, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. They're so afraid. And I'll never reach them until I remember what happened to sorry. And if Luigi Bennett, once, once that is inactivated, Luigi, they can start to hook up online and then maybe then Luigi can conduct a, his name, a Luigi Benedict. He can then conduct a search and rescue and pick them all up. But we got to, We might have to start with communi doing community things first. We can't do it straight away. But I have to assume control of this because Luigi has delegated me as the face of this project. Self-guided photocopier. There is a big market for one. It's just like anything. It's hard to get stupid. That's the thing. We're not going to use the ministries. There's going to be one company that may be bought out by Luigi, but everything else is just it's theirs now. It's, they've taken it too late. Silicon Valley, gotta go.